Hey guys, and happy holidays. On this video, I'm going to be talking about my top five dating advice for dating during the holidays. So all these tips I'm about to provide to you today were already published on Charmed. It's a, a dating advice app that helps you navigate the messaging that happens on online dating. Kind of imagine like a wing woman or wing man while you're messaging and they're there to help you out. So check them out. But all these tips came from basically the questions of the Charmed followers and I answered them. And then I realized, well, these are actually some really great tips. And so I wanted to hop on my YouTube channel and tell you guys what those are. So let's get started. So number one, I get this all the time actually, this isn't the first year, but how do you answer when your family asks you during the holiday parties and New Year's, when they ask you, so do you have a girlfriend or boyfriend yet? Or you know, how, why are you still single? Right? All those questions and it seems like you come <laughs> to these holiday parties almost dreading it because you know you're going to have to answer it. My answer to that is being straightforward yet a bit vague but adding hope and asking for help. I know it's a mixture of things, right? So the best way to state it is an answer like I'm trying. You know, I, I am dating. You can say that you are dating, even if you don't have anyone serious, even if you haven't gone on a date for a while, but you're talking to people, at the end of the day, you are trying and you are trying to date. And by simply saying, oh, I would like to have a relationship, I'm, I'm trying, I just haven't found that right person yet, right? So that answer gives, the, tells the family members that you are doing something. Because when families ask that question, at the end of the day, they're just concerned. They want you to find that person and they wonder if you're doing anything about it. And also they wonder if you need help. So that's why I say giving them the answer of saying that you're trying already answers it for them. So they don't have to convince you or push you to do anything different if you don't want to. And also by saying, I'm trying, I'm just not finding that right person yet. Then that also tells them, okay, so obviously you're trying and maybe the right person just hasn't come their way So I'm not going to pry and I'm not going to push and also when you add a little hope in there in the sense of Yeah, I'm trying something different this time around or I finally tried this and such and such Giving them just a little bit more information It, it helps it helps them. I mean at the end of the day if you remember a family members intention isn't to harm you or annoy you their intention is just wishing the best for you and they know that with the right person and with the right love in anyone's life, it makes life better. And that's, that's all they're really asking. So if you seem very content and you're just saying, I'm trying, I just haven't found that right person yet, but you know, I'm trying different things this year. You know, I'm actually trying online dating. We'll see how that goes. Like that kind of answer gives them at least a little bit, especially if they've been asking this question year after year. They're just looking for something. Um, so making sure you're, you're straightforward and that you're trying and that's what you want and telling them that you are trying, you just haven't found the right person yet. You don't need to go into the whole spiel of, oh, I don't know. And I don't know why women don't like me. And I don't, you know, th there's no need to go in a whole spiral of complaints. And also last but not least, if you're open to it, sometimes you don't know what knowledge or information or people, uh, family members have. So if you're open to it, ask them for advice, not just on yourself and what you're doing wrong, because at the end of the day, they don't know, they're not dating you. They see you as their family member. But instead, you can ask them anyone that you might know, you know, or any suggestions that maybe you've heard from other single people or coworkers that I could try. And that way, they, they usually feel really grateful that you're asking for help. Right? So that's that on how to handle family members. It's very doable. Don't see it as such a dreadful thing. Just remember that they just mean well and to give them an answer filled with hope and to not look so dreadful answering it. Because when you look that sad or mad about it, that's when they keep asking because they wanna make sure you're okay. So just make sure they know that you're okay. All right? So that's the first tip. I definitely want to talk about that first because I know everyone is always asking about that. Tip number two, people always think that during the holidays is a time that you shouldn't meet someone new or you shouldn't be dating. That's not the case. This is still the opportunity to shoot your shot. Why? Because 
people are more merry this time. They're, they're more cheery. Yeah, sure, they're more busy because there's a lot of things going on. But because of the holiday spirit, they're just more happy. They're in a better mood. They're usually more friendly. So because of that, I would highly suggest to still meet women. However, I wouldn't suggest online just because online during this time people are busy and they're not on their phones as much but go offline there's a lot of festivities going on there's a lot of christmas tree lighting events there's a lot of christmas light like lanes there's um holiday parties you know start talking to friends see what kind of if they're hosting a holiday party and see if you can come like get yourself out there even go to the mall the mall is a packed place during this time and yeah everyone is shopping but they really don't mind giving um, a suggestion or recommendation for someone that asked so don't think this is your time to stop dating this is your time to still try because everyone is in a good mood all the way into the new year for sure that's tip two tip number three Stop putting pressure on yourself. <laughs> if anything, everyone starts to stress out during the holidays because they think that if they have to meet someone new, they have to figure out what they want to do because they'll need to invite them to holiday parties. They'll need to um, see if they have make New Year's plans with them or they need to know where the relationship stands. No, no pressure. Like really, really treat it to your best like, like any other month. I, we're aware that it's not like every other month, but but trying your best and not putting so much pressure and value you know, into if you were to ask this person to a holiday party and if you don't, would they mind, right? Just, just it's okay to just do what you want to do just like you do every month. <laughs> if you wanna meet someone new, do it. If you want to ask someone to a holiday party, try, it doesn't hurt. And there's no pressure to determine the relationship during this time either. It's just, yes, a more cuddly season or like what they call cuffing season, but you don't need to do, you don't need to do that. You're only putting pressure on yourself and don't let your family put pressure on you either. Someone can only get to you as much as you allow them to. So if you want to take a break during the holiday season, totally up to you. Do what's best for you. But if you want to date, then date. And don't put pressure on, oh, if I meet someone right before Christmas, isn't that awkward? Don't I have to give her a gift? No. If you don't want to, then you don't want to. And quite honestly, if she asks, oh, are you going to give me a gift or why didn't you? Then let her let her hear you out and help her understand how you view the relationship and how you view the holidays. That actually goes into tip number four, which is that it's okay if you start dating someone during Thanksgiving and then you recognize like it's not going to work and so three weeks in, you want to let them go. That's okay. Some people think that, you know, oh, it's because of the holidays. I don't want to let them go. Isn't that mean of me? Isn't that mean to let someone go during the holidays? No. The worst you can do is drag on a relationship and keep it in limbo when you already know you're not into it. It's okay to let it go. As long as you explain yourself and, and help them understand, you know, why you two aren't a good fit, the holidays have nothing to do with it. And at the end of the day, that's their own situation to process. But do both of yourselves a favor and save and don't save each other's time and don't waste each other's time by being honest. Let's let's give the gift of being honest and authentic every season, guys. This <laughs> that is the greatest gift you can give anybody. All right. And last but not least, tip number five, uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> so New Year's Eve, everyone has this pressure to like go out and get a New Year's kiss and, and go to the club even though that's not your scene. My advice is do something different but not totally out of your character. I don't suggest to just stay at home if you're a true introvert. Sure, you may enjoy that because you're, you're by yourself, but it's the new year. Get out there and celebrate with people. Sure, it can be family, but really challenge yourself to see if you can join a New Year's Eve party of someone else's, if you can find another colleague or coworker that's hosting one, um, if you can find like a bar lounge, it doesn't have to be a club, that's hosting a New Year's Eve event. There are so many New Year's Eve events that aren't bottles popping and DJs with 
it's like a club environment. There's so many other events. And I challenge you, even though someone hasn't invited you to a New Year's Eve event, I challenge you to be open and talk to your colleagues and friends asking around, what are you doing for New Year's Eve? What are you doing for New Year's Eve? What I recognize with many of my clients is that they are too shy, they don't want to impose, uh, but a lot of times people don't know they even want to go to those events until you make it known. And it doesn't hurt to ask someone, what are you doing New Year's Eve? And honestly, if they're saying, oh, we're hosting a holiday party, and you ask simply, well, can I, can I join? And if, what's the worst that can happen? They say, no, oh, it's only for my family. Totally okay. It's not anything against you. It's not taking, don't take things personally. It's just that they have a small, maybe apartment, and they only can invite their friends and maybe a few friend, uh, friends or family, which is totally fine but at least they know that you are interested in that. And maybe next year they'll invite you. But don't take it so personally if, if they say no. A lot of people don't want to ask you know, if they can come to a holiday party because they don't want to feel the rejection and they fear that they're kind of imposing an invite. No, that's not the case. If someone does not want you there, they'll just say no. And usually it's because, like I said, some kind of limitation. It's not because they don't like you. If anything, usually when my clients think that, it's all in their head. It's your own self rejecting yourself when you take a simple, I'm sorry, like my holiday party is already packed and you tr translate it to, oh, you must not like me. That's a very dangerous mindset to have. Start to change that in the new year. And I challenge you that that is your new year's resolution. If you're someone that's shy and doesn't really get out but wants to find more opportunity, I challenge for you that your New Year's resolution is to talk to more people, make it known that you want to hang out with them um, at a simple lounge or at their house or play games. Get out there. All right, so that's my five tips for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays again. And make some new goals for yourself. And don't be afraid. This is your time to do something different. Because remember, you can only get something you've never had if you've done something if you do something you've never done. <laughs> oh, I kind of messed up that quote at the end. Sorry, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, um, and see you soon.